Hey everybody. It's time for my short rant intro, narration rant intro of my two larger narration rants on my Super Vader 400 channel of of YouTube, social media, personality, and conservative. Candace Owens. This is this is also my rant on Can. This is also my rant. Oh yeah, this is also my thoughts on Candace Owens's most recent firing from the Daily Wire Daily Wire newsletter and YouTube channel, and my rant on her scamming and grifting, grifting. For those of you who've been following my Super Vader 400 channel, I haven't really announced much on this channel, this channel, um, but on my Super Vader 400 channel, um, Candace, I used to be a huge fan of Candace Owens. I was a huge fan of Candace Owens up until her firing from the Daily Wire. The Daily Wire. I was a huge fan of Candace Owens for... Um, yeah, Candace Owens, is, Candace Owens was and is controversial and is known for her numerous controversial views and um, criticisms of Afro-American brown people communities. And me, who has seen a lot in the media and has done and have, and have, and have dealt, dealt with some of these in real life, I agree with her and each time each point she kept pissing people off more and I loved it and I loved it and she kept hitting the ball out of the park and the incident that made me a, that almost made me a Candace Owens fan for life was when she pulled up on Patrice Culler the leader of Black Lives Matter when in 2021 Patrice Cullors was exposed was exposed for using the 90 for use for defrauding the 92 for defrauding the good people out of 92 million dollars which she used to, to obtain in donations she used to obtain in donations and is and they give back they give any back to the community or the families of the slain the slain victims the slain victims of the uh, families of the families who were killed by uh, police officers now she took her butt and went all the way to live in white people's um white people's neighborhoods and purchase large mansions purchase large mansions Candace Owens was one of the only people to pull up to at least confront and pull up on this woman about her um, about her actions about her actions Warner Brothers is the only people that Warner Brothers so far the only people that ever do something about it they dropped her from a Warner Brothers they dropped her from a Warner Brothers deal she had. I'll talk about that in another video. But this is about of Candace Owens. The links will be in the description box below. But when she got but when she got fired for the Daily Wire, she showed her true colors. All 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 of all the things she was saying, all the act all the activism, pulling them for Patrice Colors. Pulling them for Patrice Colors. It was all one gigantic scam and one gigantic griff. And what she's doing now now that she's fired and out of a job, instead of um, preparing for the future, because she should have known, she, she making the comment she made, making the comment she made, she should have known she was eventually going to get fired. <laughs> the seeds for her firing and her release from the Daily Wire were planted in late 2023 when she and the one of the one of the head people there, Ben Shapiro, when she and Ben Shapiro got into it, got into it when she made some controversial anti-semitic anti-semitic comments about the jews anti-semitic comments about the jews that's when she got um that's when she got fired and um while that is still well while, while i have my own criticisms from the daily wire my own criticisms for ben shapiro and the daily wire which we're going to talk about in another video i'm okay with their decision to fire candace owens because it's not just it's not just the comment she made about the jews but number one it's not just the comments made on the Jews, but the problem I have with her is what she was concerning herself with things that, in my opinion, don't concern her. What happens over what happens with the Jews and what happens overseas does not concern anyone in America, especially Afro Americans. Candace Owens, it, she promised that she would 
she would she would be everything in her power to expose Black Lives Matter for the scam it was and bring Patrice Cullors and them to justice. She distracted from that goal and started involving herself in the Jews and Palestine Israel Israel war. With my opinion, that's not her stance. Even I have no, I have no problem with Jews, but even if I had a problem with Jews, I would not openly criticize them, especially if they're the ones who signed who signed my checks. She thought she was untouchable and could say anything and could say anything. So then when she gets fired, this is the worst one. When she gets fired, instead of preparing herself, when she gets fired, I thought, okay, what's her backup plan? Because I still support her even after she was fired. It was what she it was what she said her plans were gonna be. And that was her plans was <coughs> to set up a to set up a go to set up a um go fund me, start a new YouTube channel because Daily Wires owns the one she used and force people to donate and pay her for doing what I'm doing right now, talking on a recorded video. Last time I checked, you're a YouTube social media personality and and that career that career is free. That career is free. There are no ad there's no there are no ads. There are no ads. There I do not get any money I do not get any money uh, for this, the only money, the only form of money I'm gonna receive is the money for my um, comic book and picture novel multimedia franchise that I've been working on for almost a decade now that I plan to um, preview and release in the future. But that's another video for another day. This is about Candace Owens. But uh, I hate people who do that, who who try to who who try to get people to pay them to pay to pay them to donate money to them via cash out, mail, whatever. Via cash out, via cash out. When all you're doing is talking on a recorded video, which last time I checked, using being on and using YouTube was free. So yeah, that's when and now and now and now look at her her entire stance is what you call it. Now that she's now that the white people have kicked her out to the curve, what are haters and naysayers who I defended Candace Owens from? Her haters and naysayers say everything they her haters and naysayers say about her said about her was true. All the activism, all the stuff she was doing, it was one gigantic scam and grip. She's not even talking about Patrice Colors and Black Lives Matter or any of that. She didn't care about any she didn't care about anything. It was all about the check. She will she will support a narrative based upon the check. My opinion, unemployment, un, in, unemployment or employment unemployment or employment, whatever. Unemployment or not. My views, my opinions are the same and won't change. They may improve and, and slightly dip and slightly differ, slightly differ and soften up. But I will, for the most part, never. I will, for the most part, never. Um, never change unless I'm giving a reason to change, and that's the people I criticize, the communities and people I criticize actually change and become better, which is not happening. Which is not happening, or atone for what they did, and that's never happening. Um, I talk more about it in in the two in the in the larger rants. The links will be in the description box below. But this was my rant on um, this is my rant introduction on uh, Candace Owens, and now she's on the Breakfast Club. She 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 in one video says she didn't want to be part of Afro American culture. Now she's trying to pander. She's on the Breakfast Club singing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme. Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme. She there's a photo of her in what looks to be inner cities in street clothes. Yes, yes, she's in street clothes now versus the um, professional pantsuit attire, the, the professional pantsuit attire, professional pantsuit attire she had went on the Daily Wire, Daily Wire. Like I said, just a grifter and a scammer and just a phony, man. And it turns out all her um, haters and naysayers, those N-words and pro-blacks, well, I got a problem with them too. I got a problem with them too. But everything they said about her was everything they said about her was um was right. So this is this so those these videos are me ranting on Candace Owens and me disowning Candace Owens. I got more Candace Owens videos coming, but they won't be included with this one in this one. So yeah, the two links are in the description box below. The first one has the Douglas Blair Roberts YouTube social media personality based character, and the second has the Douglas as the um, real life superhero based um character the even larger one and both are narration because I didn't feel like getting in a webcam and I'm talking and I really wanted people to um 
see it or know what the video was. So just in case you didn't know what Candace Owens was, it's interesting that you'll see the what you call us. And I don't debut, and I didn't debut it in this video, but when I do these narration, political, social, and past event rants, you will also see pictures of movies, cartoons, animes, comic books, comic books, and various other forms of media media it's it's not a review or a video about that it's just me using those things because those are my uh, favorites but i don't debut it in candace owens videos but i will it will be featured in several other videos just like that so with that being said i'm finished for now so yeah get ready links are in the description box below oh yeah and one more thing comments will be disabled because i don't want my videos flagged or anything so yeah you got to comment on another video that where the comment section is open or you got to do a video response of your own if you want to respond so with that being said i'm finished get ready the links are in the description box below